Hey yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So today, I know I left you guys with a cliffhanger for the last video, but we're going to stress test the 12 inch cast iron skillet from Walmart, the mainstay. Yes sir. So, in the previous video, we went ahead and we grinded it down, got it to a nice smooth finish, we, we washed it up, we seasoned it, and now we're back. We're going to answer some questions that you guys left in the previous video, and we're going to go ahead and do exactly what everybody wants, searing some meat. So for today's video, we have some New York strips, have some asparagus, I'm going to just throw that in the oven, cast iron skillet, and we also have some potatoes that are ready to go. So to get this started, guys, we're going to turn the stove on medium high. Perfect, just like that. We're gonna let this warm up. So I'm gonna give this about, I'm gonna give it about five minutes or so. So while that pot warms up, I'm gonna go ahead and answer a few questions that I received about this skillet on the last video. One of the key questions I really wanted to get into was about the heat distribution. Now, the question was posed in regards of, you know, since it's a cheaper cast iron skillet, how is the heat distribution? Is there cold spots, warm spots? I'm gonna be extremely honest with you. It ain't too many other ways you can change up the ingredients to make a cast iron skillet. When you have a cheaper skillet versus a more expensive skillet, it's really about the finished touches. I've been pushing the skillet to the limits. The first day out, I made some pancakes and did a pretty good job. Um, the biggest thing I can really tell a person to watch out for in this question is that a 12 inch skillet is quite big in regards to covering your aisle. So. Uh, a lot of times you might assume that it can get a little cold over here, over there, over here, but you know, it's, it's cast iron, baby, so it, it warms up the whole skillet. So the next question is, what do you use to season the skillet, guys? Me personally, this skillet, all of my newer cast iron skillets, I'm just using vegetable oil. Back when I used to be really into cast iron skillets, guys, I used to use different type of, uh, like, lards, which were thicker, had a higher smoke point. So that's just, that was just me. Uh, I was using like a Cisco lard that had a really high smoke point of like 400 degrees. This is a lighter question which is pretty much asking why are the newer skillets coming out so rough and the quick example that I can give is just it's just cost savings. If you cut out the last final process of sanding it down making it really smooth like grandma's skillets uh, you, you save a couple dollars. So that's what the new manufacturers are doing guys. So the skillet has been warming up for a few minutes it's starting to smoke. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Also, uh, when it comes to the steaks, feel free to season it how you wish. But I just use a little olive oil on top. And then I put some of this great value steak seasoning. It has like salt, pepper, uh, sesame seed, garlic, onion. And honestly, guys, with a good steak, good quality steak, you can just put salt and pepper. But, uh... My family likes this, so this is what I use. Hopefully you can see this. So the skillet is starting to warm up. We'll turn it down a little bit. Okay. Asparagus oven. Medium high heat. And I'm going to put three New York strips on there. Uh, now that it's a lot smoother, I don't need as much oil as I used to do or you would have had to use. So, I wanna get straight to it, guys. I'm gonna try not to talk too much guys, but the beautiful thing about cast iron is over time with a lot of use it gets really smooth, non-stick. Next is I'm gonna get some butter, some garlic, flip it, I'm gonna baste it, let it marinate over time and uh take it off. And uh yeah, it's gonna be great. So technically it should just release up once it's ready.
All right, so that's getting there. Next thing is the potatoes. We gotta put some cheese on the potatoes. Like that, everything just cleans right up. So, guys, I'm gonna let the steaks rest for a little bit. And while I'm letting these rest, I'm going to uh, just clean up this pot. Okay, guys, so let's see what the asparagus and the potatoes look like. Stress test that just so you can see what that's looking like. Skilly did a good job. Cleaned up very well, just scraped it off with a spatula and then rinse it out. Asparagus, um, potatoes and cheese. And these are the steaks. So hopefully that was a cool video, just hanging out with me. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you comment something down below and just keep staying positive until next